Hello everyone and welcome to this new lecture. In this lecture, I'm going to walk you through ImageNet. And basically ImageNet is an open source uh, repository of images that consists of 1000 classes and over 1.5 million images. I just want you to imagine, you know, the scale of this data set. It's just a huge data set that is basically open source and readily available and a lot of competitions for example if you want to introduce a new architecture of a, of a network let, let's say like resnet or residual net or let's say inception net and all these like you know like a, like advanced networks if you want to introduce your own new network and you want to test it on a kind of a benchmarking um, data set you're going to go ahead and use ImageNet. that's kind of you know like a, like the benchmark and there's a lot of competitions that's taking place to try to beat, you know, the best or the last score that we had achieved, for example, let's say last year. So what I'm going to show you and um, in the next couple of lectures is that we're going to, when we perform transfer learning, we're going to download a list of weights, just kind of an, a network, pre-trained network that has, let's say, a certain number of weights. And this specific network have been trained on ImageNet which means that, you know, like this network is extremely capable. It's actually very, very powerful. Why? Because again, it has been trained on over 1.5 million images. So it actually have seen pretty much like, you know, like tons of features. So let's take a look at a couple of classes. So as you guys can see here, I just took like a sample of the classes. So you will find that there are tons of classes in here. For example, here you have, let's say, red wine, for example. That's a class on its own. There is like eggnog. There's like bananas, for example. There is, let's say, these are all the different volcano, corn, you know, like daisy, like just flowers, flowers, trees, you know, animals, pets, everything you would ever imagine. So if you guys want to check it out, please go ahead and check out this link. I have this link open here. So here you go. And what you could do here is that you can basically search with whatever you want. So I'm going to look, for example, let's say for elephant. So you press, you type elephant, you press enter. Here we go. So you will find that here are the series of images of elephant. And if you click on it, it will load. Again, these are the different kind of popular, like a sin set, like, you know, popular kind of general class. And here you go. These are the different images that you guys can see. Again, they are, you know, it's a huge amount of work to be able to actually obtain all these pictures. And as you guys can see here, here we have 2,200 pictures just specifically for the African elephant. Again, what's really like, again, um, keeps me awake at night and kind of scare me, like if you think about it, like the network that we're going to be loading kind of, you know, in the next um, lecture has already been trained on ImageNet. So this network is already being like extremely superior to humans already. And you can download it in like one minute, which is again, pretty scary. You know, if you think about it, just, you know, with that rate of, of progress, exponential progress, what's going to happen in the next, you know, like in 20 years is that we might be obsolete, you know, like it's like, you know, we are, we might be hopeless in front of AI, you know, with that power of AI, like it just, it's, it's going to be like, you know, like as humans, I just want you to imagine these are the different kind of, you know, types of, of here. So there are like, like there is like, sort of, I don't even know most of this stuff, you know, <laughs> like it's like, if you go here, for example, these are the different kind of versions of, of the elephants. So here, you will find, okay, so what's good about the um, ImageNet is that there is the African elephant, it's type of the elephant, and it's type of proboscidean, which is type of, you know, placental mammals, which is, again, type of, you know, it's just, it's, it's again, it's pretty scary if you think about it, you know, because, it, like, for humans, it would be very, very difficult to actually be able to perform these kind of classifications. However, you'll be able to load the network extremely powerful than us, in just a couple of minutes that's it done you know all right and let's take a look at another example so if you go to birds for example okay so you find that here within the bird you will find that there these are the different images so we have again around 2000 images of birds so again it's taking a little bit of a while because we have a lot of birds in here and here you'll find the different types it is like nester there's like hen there is like you know like uh, i don't know what that is has seen bird again within it there are 279 
if you open all these are just different you know like like architectures different types of birds and so on again i just want to wait until it loads and these are the basically the series of images of the 2000 images so back to the point of transfer learning if you guys recall is that it will be really difficult to start from scratch and train just a brand new network on all these classes on just millions and millions of images so now it's actually like you guys can see here it's like 14 million images at the moment which is again there are 21,000 classes right if you guys remember beforehand I'll just I should I just show you kind of a snapshot of and and the image net I'm gonna be uh, or the network that is being trained on ImageNet has only thousand classes now because again the these you know these kind of data set is growing as we move forward so there's tons of classes being added it's kind of you know you're there's no way back you know you're just going up you're just gonna be learning every single day getting better and better way better than humans again until we become obsolete at some point unfortunately um, anyway so Again, I'm just waiting until we load the images of birds. Again, it's taking a little bit of a while. All right, so it seems that the birds um, uh, class is not readily available at the moment. And it seems that the ImageNet server is under maintenance. So let's take a look at maybe other classes. So we checked out fungus, for example. And these are the different images of fungus, as you guys can see here, tons of them. Again, as humans, it will be really difficult to be able to do that task, be very, very challenging. And what's really cool about the ImageNet here is that you can go to the tree map visualization and it can show you all the classes. So basically, ImageNet for 2011, under fungus, for example, there is dead man's fingers, you know, there's different categories within it, which is again, pretty cool. Let's take a look at maybe another, another classes. Let's say go up here maybe sports i didn't even open it before so we'll find that there is water there is blood outdoor racing there is tons of them here so these different categories if we open let's say water within the water you will find there is swimming there is surfing there is water skiing again it seems that it's still under under um, maintenance so it seems like you know i can't even visualize the photos here so it's scuba diving and so on so these are the tons of images again 1500 images but unfortunately, I'm not able to visualize it at the moment. I hope you guys are able to. All right, so let's give it a shot and maybe try another class. Let's say I'm going to look for sports, for example. And here we go. You will find that not all sports are available, but some of them, let's say stadium, for example. So you'll find that here we have, if you go here, this, this is a tree map visualization. So there is football, there is like, uh, like dome, sky, you know, sky box and so on. But if you go to images of the sunset or the class, these are the different images. Again, of all the stadiums, you know, again, it's pretty impressive that, you know, we'd be able to basically capture all that data, all these images in one place and train like a massive network, you know, with millions of weights to, to perform all these classifications. Again, pretty, pretty incredible. All right. Okay. And that's all what I have for this lecture. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a shot. Please go to this website and maybe search for a couple of classes and give it a shot. And please enjoy TensorFlow 2.0 Practical Advanced and I'll see you guys in the next lecture.